Dear Vitamix owners, we gotta make a couple changes here. I'm sending this message, making this video because of a message that I got and it really shook me. Let me find it. Can't find it, but the it was this. She said, I, I finally got a Vitamix, but I, I was so intimidated by the Vitamix community. So I was afraid what to get and if it would be a place that would be welcoming for me. You guys are intimidating. That's a problem. Good life motto. You're not responsible for other people's feelings. But this isn't high school and this isn't a country club and this isn't, most importantly, not an island that has scarce resources where it's a zero sum game. Someone else's gain is your loss. It doesn't work like that. It's someone else's gain is your gain. Uh, it's positive sum. The more people that have a Vitamix, the better off we all are. More people are gonna be eating healthier and our healthcare costs will go down. When you got a Vitamix and you started using it, did you feel like you got a little happier? Your life got a little better? A happier world. The more people that have them, the more likely that your next vacation rental will have a Vitamix. You won't have to schlep yours. Now is actually a good time to say if you want to subscribe to our channel, you can press that little button and it, it does help us continue to make uh, recipe videos and stuff like this. If you want, we are all much better off if people are not intimidated by this community. If they're not afraid to get a Vitamix and they're not afraid of backlash or, or they're, they don't feel guilty and they are feel good about this. They wanna be a part of this, they feel welcome because look, you were in their shoes once. You didn't have a Vitamix before and someone introduced you to this thing. And if not for that person, you would never be where you are today. And the other problem is as fewer people are taking the plunge, there's gonna be fewer resources for Vitamix owners to, to take advantage of. So there's gonna be fewer recipes put up on the Vitamix website. We're not gonna be able to do as many things. This is an economies of scale thing. The, the more people that are in this, the, the better it is for everyone. And it's really important not to forget where we came from. Only like 5% of, of you, of us, got a Vitamix because of the, because they saw it in a, in a road show or at a state fair, impressed by this crazy gadget's ability to make smoothies, hot soups, and ice cream. Most of us leveled up to a Vitamix. They had a Ninja, a Ninja Blender, or we had a Nutribullet or we had an Oster, something that was just sitting in our cabinets, something we inherited or, or, or found at a garage sale, right? Like, I'm curious, where did you, what blender did you have getting started? Uh, I had um, a Breville blender that I thought was kind of like a, oh, this is a nice one and it'll last a long time and it's better than a cheap one, but not a crazy expensive one. Uh, eventually the container broke, I couldn't get a hold of customer service and I said, forget it, I'm gonna get a Vitamix. Guys, yeah, like this, this community, is, is more than a community of people that have a $500 blender. This is a community of people who care, who care about themselves, their, their health, the way they look and the way they feel. They care about their family, the way that their family looks and feels, the way that their family's health is. And we're ultimately just people, we're all humans. No different from the people who are trying to, to wring the, the very last drop out of their Oster. And, and I know Vitamix Corporation does this. They kind of remain Switzerland, but the community of people that have a Vitamix, you and I, we, it, it, we transcend politics. This isn't about anything but enjoying this lifestyle of like eating and drinking really good food and, and feeling good before, during, and after. It's people who like really good smoothies and shakes, the occasional hot soup made consistently year after year without any aggravation. And so what do we do? I have uh, three sort of solutions here. First of all, with the people that come into your home, share with them something that you love to make. Is it a green smoothie? Is it a red smoothie? Is it a hot soup? Is it ice cream? Is it hummus? Share with them and share conversation. Now, don't share the machine. More good life advice, unsolicited. Love people, not things. Sit down with some food and hang out. This isn't about bragging about your Vitamix. And while you're sitting down having a nice chat, ask, ask how they're doing, but ask, hey, are you blending? 
You still making smoothies? What kind of protein shakes are you making these days? What's your go-to? Not only are you gonna learn a, a tactic or a recipe or something that you didn't know you didn't know from them, it's gonna help them just open up and feel good about what they're doing. Half of what we do is just demonstrating to inspire and getting people motivated to make some of these things. And the third solution to this problem, my friends, is depressurize. I've got Kanto on my my mind, the pressure till you drip, drip, does it drip, drip, drip. Resist the temptation to tell people they should get a Vitamix too. The real messaging should be use your Ninja, use your Nutribullet, use your Oster, whatever you have, as long as you can, and just use it till it, it absolutely can't anymore. Because then you'll be ready when the time is right, but don't feel like you need to get a Vitamix. 95% you know, of people come to this community from another blender because they enjoyed that lifestyle so much and they're like, all right, I'm ready to level up. I wanna buy one and be done. You know, everybody puts their Vitamix out on the counter and it's it's sort of like a like a trophy. Um, you know, I'm just as guilty of it. I have Vitamix blenders sitting on the shelf behind me and it's, it's ridiculous. There's some aspirational aspect to having a Vitamix out, but it shouldn't come with pressure or a stigma or shame if you don't. Guys, if you appreciate videos like this, if you are a Vitamix owner, this is our uh, green juice tutorial video. It's everything you need to know about making green juice, whole food green juice in your Vitamix. Go here. It'll change your uh, relationship with your Vitamix. And um, thanks so much for watching. We'll see you in the next one, guys.